Good morning. It's Thursday, June 29th, and I'm the Cajun Bell, and I show you every day what a full-time reseller sells on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. And I had great sales yesterday. I am over the moon about them. It's two days in a row I've had great sales. I'm contributing it to the cleanup of all of my listings. None of these things were relisted, but I feel like it is bringing a lot of traffic to my stores, you know, that's, that's what I'm going to go with. It could be just because it's the end of the month too. I don't know. Anyway, let's do this. That's what you're here for. First up is this really, really pretty dress that I got at the bins a very long time ago. It is a maternity dress, but it is so pretty. It's pink lily. It's a size medium. So not bad there. And it is just this really gorgeous dress with all of these really pretty details on it. Look how pretty this is. I cannot believe this took 10 months to sell. Finally sold for $22. I don't know why it took so long to sell other than maybe I listed it badly. I don't know. Maybe I should have relisted it sooner. I'm not really sure. And this, I didn't relist this week. It just finally sold at that great price at not a great price, <laughs> not a great price at all. $22, which is fine because it is from the bins. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not like I paid a lot for it. My average at the bins is $3. So not a big expense there. I need to show two things while I'm thinking about it. Somebody had asked about my stickers. These are just thermal labels and they just wanted to know what it said on it. If I can get it off of here. It says, thank you for shopping with Cajun Bell. If you have any issues or concerns, please contact us. We want you to be 100% satisfied with your order. There it is. I just make these on my thermal printer. I have seen, I have plenty of these right now but I have seen that there are colored ones now. There are, not only are there colored ones, but there's iridescent ones that you can thermal print on. I am very tempted to buy some of those, <laughs> even though you know, I don't need them. Um, and I do want to get smaller ones next time. I don't feel like I need them this big. I like that I can close up my packages with them and people see that when they open the package. That's why I made them originally. And the whole point of these, I use these on eBay. And the whole point of them is to discourage just somebody that's not happy to just give me a bad rating and keep the item when I take returns and just all they need to do is contact me for open return. So it's just kind of a way to remind um, people that there's no point in giving me a bad rating. Cause I will take it back. You're still gonna get those. I haven't had one in a long time, luckily. Need to knock on wood somewhere. Make sure this is padded, yeah, padded flat rate. So anyway, this sold for $22. It took 10 whole months. I'm gonna blame that one on me. <laughs> I think that was my fault. I think I did not list this very well. My cost was $3, so after fees, shipping, blah, 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 I am making $11.90 on that sale, so nothing special there, but I mean, I'm taking up some room. I'm happy to see it get out of here, that's for sure. There we go. All right. I always try to peel these off the wrong way because I'm used to it being front facing. I hope that person's happy with their dress though because it is really, really cute. They should be very happy with that. That's adorable. Okay, next up is a pair of shoes. If I don't drop them. I paid up for these. Um, my average, I think that day was 15. Is that what I wrote down? Yeah, 15. These are camper. C-A-M-P-E-R. There you go. Camper. These are really cool. 
really like these. They're like a stretchy um, tie to them. These are new without tags, so they're going to go for a little bit more. I bought these and didn't mind paying up for them because I saw the sell-through on them. It was excellent, so I got them for that, for the fact that I knew that they would sell very quickly. There's not a lot of these out there, so I knew it was a good pickup. Anytime you see shoes that just look a little out of the ordinary, like these definitely do. Uh, they're just totally different. These are men's shoes also. Probably should look them up, honestly. And then that, that bottom also. Anytime I see that clear, tight, rubber bottom on a pair of shoes, I will look the brand up and see how it does because it tends much like a leather bottom that rubbery light brown clearish looking stuff just tends to be on your more expensive shoes maybe it's more expensive to manufacture i don't know but that is what i have seen so these sold for 65 dollars in two weeks so excellent sell through on that After my $15 cost of goods, I am making $40.86. So, quite happy with that sale. And is the next one a good one too? Yep, next one is my best sale by far. I bought these the same day actually. These both came from the local dirt cheap liquidation store, which is a store in the southeast that has lately been getting um, Nordstrom returns and Macy's returns. So I have been frequenting those. I'm probably going to stop for the next month or two. I have a feeling this is going to be an ongoing thing. Um, I'm not going to stop, but I'm just going to slow down on picking this stuff up unless, let me get that string off, unless like it's really low priced. I'm going to show you all my book. i me show you all that. I have a notebook here. So online, this store has a, um, a scanner and you pick your location on the scanner and you can scan their price tags at the different locations. So I have two of them near me that I go to frequently. And so I write down, I take the stickers, I carefully remove them with a heat gun and I stick them on these pages. And then every couple of weeks, I haven't looked at it since it looks like on the 19th. So it's been 10 days since I scanned these. So I need to go through and scan them again and see what the prices are. And I have written down what the prices are at this, at this um, scan. So there you go right there. Like this one right here is $8 right now. And that was on $6.19, which I went up there when it was $8. So I haven't been back since because it usually takes like at least a week and a half, two weeks for the price to go down again. So I will wait and scan again. And then when I see the price goes down more, I will go and look and see what's left. There won't be much left now. <laughs> After the $8, it's slim pickings, honestly. I did go up there though, last time when it was $8. And I think I got, I got very little, very, very little. I think I got like five items. Because I mean, it, I had already been through it a hundred times, you know, and other resellers had already been through it a hundred times. and. So by the time it gets to that low, you're really not finding much of anything, but you might, you never know. You might find something worth picking up. There's some Madewell. I mean, if it gets down to like three bucks or something, I'll pick up the Madewell because it is actually newer styles at least. I'm not gonna get a lot for it, but at $3, that's okay. You know, they, at least they are newer styles. Most of the stuff, because there are style codes on some of the things, most of it was from last year or so. There you go. I didn't show y'all what that was. <laughs> it's packed up now. <laughs> it's a parody dress. 
feel like I need to show you because it's really, really, really cute. And it sold for $110. It's my best sale. I got so busy talking that I, it was packed up so nicely, too. Shame on me. <laughs> There's three minutes of our lives. We're not getting back. <laughs> this dress is so cute. This is the Faraday Oland dress. So pretty. I'm going to stand up and show y'all. Okay. There we go. <laughs> We're going to ding that. <laughs> there is your tag. There's your Faraday tag. Um, it is new with tags. It's this floral, really pretty dress. I bought this at $20. I waited forever. They had a bunch of these at these stores. Look how pretty it is. I waited forever for the price to go down on these. I would not pay $40 because I looked them up and I knew that they weren't going to go for more than a hundred bucks or much more than a hundred bucks. In this case, this one went for 110 size small. I kind of want to go back and get one for myself because these are so cute. And it's got like the tear, it's the boho, it's, you know, it's it, floral, blah, blah, blah. It hits all those currently popular it's got a puff sleeve on it all those currently popular things so I knew it would sell quickly but at $40 you really maybe I should have picked it up at $40 because I'm looking at my earnings so it sold in two weeks yeah, hindsight's 2020 though right next time I'll know if I ever come across these Faraday maxi dresses I'll know Sold for $110, and my cost was $20 on this one, so I made $75.35 on this one, which is excellent. Love that, obviously. So if I would have paid $40 for that, I would have made $55, which I would have been okay with, honestly. I don't know. hard whenever those prices are so high it's hard to make those decisions you know it's hard to pick and especially when it's at 40 it's all new stuff that just came in it's hard to pick what you want to get and what you don't want to get I try to stick with stuff that goes for 150 or more whenever it's at that price point so all right that was fun half my video took up one dress such a cute dress though i love it so much all right next up is a for love and liberty shirt for love and liberty in case you don't know is a johnny was brand i feel like it's the least known johnny was brand <laughs> and therefore i actually see it sometimes here's your tag it's the number four for love and liberty this one's a size medium it is silk. It is super cute. Look at this with the embroidery all over it. And just got really, really cute details. They're all cute, honestly. But they tend to sit. This one has holes in it, too. It has holes in the mesh in the back. Um, of course, it's disclosed in the listing. But definitely will discourage people from buying it. It was returned to me. It was returned because of the holes, which were disclosed. But the person said that she didn't realize the holes were so large. So, yeah, it's whatever. You know, everybody has their tolerance levels for how much um, flaws they are okay with, right? So, anyway, sold for a second time for $30, which is not bad for a, fly, a flawed shirt, right? And had it for seven months. I did only pay $3 for it because I got it from my local little church thrifts. So after fees and costs and all the good stuff, I make $22 off of this one, $22.77. And it sold in seven months, but it sold twice in seven months. So I'm gonna give that leeway. away. I do find that this brand can sit. I have another shirt by this brand that has been sitting also. I think it's just because it's just not that well known that it's Johnny Was brand. If everybody knew it was, it probably would fly, but it's just one of those things. Still pick it up though, because it is nice stuff. And if I can sell it for $30 or more, I'm happy.
Alrighty. Tadashi. Tadashi Soji. I have been picking this brand up. I think I have picked up three dresses in this brand. Um, and I was starting to wonder if it was ever going to sell. I was getting to the point where I was like, mm, if I see this brand, I don't, in fact, I did, I did pass it up recently. So, because I just wasn't sure about it anymore because it hadn't sold yet, but I just had to give it a little time, I guess. So maybe it just sits for a little bit more than we're used to. It's Tadashi Shoji. It is an expensive brand. Um, It's an expensive brand retail and it doesn't sell for that much. It's really pretty. All the dresses are really pretty. They're, they're all kind of shaped like this, it seems like. I'm sure there's other styles, but the ones I find mostly are shaped like this and cute little sheath dresses that are usually like a lace overlay or a, sil a sequin overlay or something like that. For some reason, well, for obvious reasons, rather. These are very popular in Japan, evidently, because I get a lot of lowballs. I got like three different lowballs from Japan on Tadashi Soji. Isn't that weird? It's a thing. <laughs> it is a thing. Maybe they're more popular over there. Maybe they buy them from us over here and resell them over there. I don't know. No idea. I think their shipping is so high though that they lowball us so that it's not outrageous. I do not know. Anyway, this sold for $58.39. This is excellent. Love that one. Took two months. So it's not terrible. Not terrible. I'll, I'll, take, I'll wait two months for that much. I think this is a priority padded. Yep. So, after fees and my cost of goods of $7, because it did come from a regular Goodwill, I make $33.09. So that's really good. Perfectly good. It's like right where I like to hit. I wish I could make an average of $33.09. I'm more, I'm more averaging 20, <laughs> which is good too. After all cost and fees, 20. I'm, I'm okay with that too, okay? I'm not complaining. 20 is perfect, actually. Alrighty. How about some panties? Some panties. I think there's two different ones. That's the wrong ones. Let's get these instead. Some Tommy John panties. I bought these for a dollar a piece at the Dillard's Clearance Center. I love seeing all this stuff go. They are just Tommy John. Tommy John can do well. It's just, you know, it's underwear. So it's not going to sell for a huge amount. It's just underwear. At least I don't find that it does. I'm sure there's some items out there that do better, but not um getting a ton of money for underwear okay people and this is just like a little pair of thongs so i don't expect a ton of money for them but at 99 cents cost that is fine these sold for 16 dollars and having troubles in a month and after my cost uh, and I'll, I only wrote down a dollar. After my cost of two dollars, because it's two pairs, I make eleven dollars and forty cents on these. Love the sell through. Not a huge amount you're making, but y'all know the spiel. Fast list. Easy to store. Fast to take pictures of. New shipping label. And then some more underwear. Some polo underwear. I bought three packs of these, dollar a piece. Same sale, same day, blah, blah, blah. Same old, same old. This one's first class good. Yep. Come on. You should have fit in the other way. 
Oh well. These sold for 20. After fees and blah blah blah. I made $15.24 on that one. Talk about fast to list. <laughs> you literally just throw it down and take pictures of it. It's so easy. It's my favorite types of listings. Okay, that is everything from eBay, and I had one sale on Poshmark. Only one, but at least it was a good one. It was Lululemon ABC pants. Y'all, I buy these like crazy. I find them like crazy. I love finding them. I have gotten to, you've got, I have gotten very well at finding them. Very good, very well, very good at finding them because of this button. That's what I look for. It's like a it's kind of shiny, kind of matte button kind of in between. I uh, just got into where I can look for them very easily and there's your little tag right behind it. This one actually had the tag on it which was shocking. <laughs> I sell these for $40 all the time. That is my like price, my lucky price point. It seems to be the sweet spot that people want to pay for these men's Lululemon pants. They always sell fast, and I, I do price them up a little bit more than that. I'm usually around like 50, 55 for these, but I just always get offers for 40. That's what people want to pay for them. So, and I always take offers for 40 because I'm perfectly fine with 40 because after a $7 cost of goods, I make $25 and I sold in four days. I'm perfectly fine with that one. Very nice. That can go in a priority mailer because that is Poshmark. And that is it for the day, y'all. I am going to go out getting a little stir crazy from doing all the cleanup of the listings. I did do. 12 or 13 of them this morning. No, I did 14, that's right. So I did do some of them this morning. Very, very proud of that. <laughs> Woke up early. So I'm gonna go out. I'm not going thrifting for stuff to sell. I'm just going out to go out. I'm gonna go to my local stores. If I find stuff, obviously, I'll pick it up. But I have plenty here to do right now. So I don't really need a lot of product or anything like that. You can see because I cleaned out um, the room and because I am redoing listings right now and I'm coming across stuff that is not listed or needs new pictures and all that kind of stuff, I'm finding a lot of stuff to do anyway. So I don't want to spend a lot of, y'all know, I know I'm a crazy lady. I don't like having death piles. <laughs> so gonna hold off on buying stuff because I don't want a bunch of stuff to be sitting around. I want to get all of this done first and then I and I have a bucket of shoes over here. I have a bucket of blankets over here. I got a lot to do so I don't want to pick up more stuff and have it just collect. I know I'm a weirdo. I know. I know. I know I'm weird. You know what I have? This is really cool. Let me show you. I have right here I grab the hat. I have a full on set of Endymion stuff from the 90s. It is, it's the, I have throws, I have um, the bag, I have the full costume here, I have the, the throws from the actual parade that he was in. Um, there's even some panties in there that have the year on them, 99. So they are can be confirmed that the whole thing is from 1999. <coughs> Excuse me. My stepfather's brother, Endymion, for those of you that don't know, probably a lot of you don't know, is a Mardi Gras parade in New Orleans. It is, I want to say it's the biggest Mardi Gras parade in New Orleans. It's a big one. It's one of the big, it's up there with Bacchus and Rex and like Endymion's huge. It's, it's a fabulous parade too if you've never been. It is a really really great parade it is gorgeous and beautiful very well done very pricey expensive one <laughs> it's a nice nice parade anyway I have the full set from 1999 
I am going to lot that whole thing up and I think I'm going to auction it. It is not easy to research that. Shocker, right? And then like I have an LSU jacket there from him. Same thing. It's from the 90s. It's really cool. It's made in the USA. It might be from the 80s. Who knows? Um, I don't know. I just think that's a really cool, different um, thing going on. I also have a Ninja Creamy that I need to sell. So, like, I have, like, three things, at least three things that are, like, really nice things that need to get out of here. And I have more than three. I have some... I have some high dollar stuff that really I need to get listed. So that is going to be my goal for next week. I'm not, we're only on Thursday and I'm already talking about the goals for next week. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Because I am really tired of sitting on the couch and cleaning up listings. I am really, really tired of it. So I think that's what I'm going to start doing. All right. That is it. I am done. I hope y'all sales have picked up too for the end of the month. Um... If not, start relisting your whole store. <laughs> Who knew that would be the thing that makes me like my stuff all sell all of a sudden. I didn't think that was going to happen. Anyway, I hope you all come back Friday. I was about to tell you all have a nice weekend, but I will have to see you all again tomorrow. I'm sorry. And look, I got a clicker. I don't have to get up anymore and turn my videos off. So bye. That didn't work. I'm still here. What the heck?